funky. last night from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Probably gonna end up staying up all day. I have a lot of stuff on my mind um, and I want to kind of elaborate a little bit later on in the video. Right now, I'm not wearing any makeup, so uh, I think I'm gonna go put a face on. So yeah, I hope that you enjoy whatever I end up creating this to be. Like I said, later on in this video, I'm gonna sit down and talk a little bit and just share some thoughts and do a little self-reflection, which I feel like I haven't done on camera in a really long time. So if you're interested in hearing some of the stuff I have to say, stay tuned. <laughs> Three hours later. So like I said, I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a self-reflection on my video. First off, my life is about to endure so many changes. Actually, I've already been experiencing a lot of change. I was in a relationship, as some of you might know, and before I get into anything, I just want to say I'm not throwing shade at anybody. I'm not making this with the intention of hurting anybody. I'm making this with the intention of possibly helping somebody. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong or when I make a mistake. And by sharing those things, I hope that I can help somebody else with their struggles or their mistakes or whatever it might be. So anyways, I was in a relationship with a really amazing guy. We met and things just instantly made sense. After a little while, we started having some issues. We just were two very different people in the way we loved and the things we wanted and needed and expected from relationships and things started getting um, just kind of not very healthy. I'm a very emotionally independent person. I've said this in some of my other videos, I don't depend on people. I think that you should find happiness and inner peace within yourself before you go looking for it with another human being. And I don't want to get too in depth with it because I don't want to be disrespectful of the person because I still have a lot of love for that person, you know? But there are boundaries I believe you should have with relationships, especially so early on in. Going through each other's phones, going through each other's things, knowing every single detail about the other person, I'm just, I don't, agree with. And it just created a lot of issues and problems in our relationship. It felt like I had really just lost myself trying to make this person happy. And then I kind of went through a really bad wave of depression because I couldn't figure out what was wrong with me and why I couldn't just be in a traditional relationship. I sort of just resented myself and who I was. So I decided that it would be best if we just ended things. And it was really, really hard and really, really painful. And honestly, it's still pretty painful, you know, because I really thought I was going to be with this person. But then I realized that I couldn't spend the rest of my life being somebody that I'm not. And also, this is kind of embarrassing to say, but this isn't the first failed relationship I've had because of my own independent issues. I don't know, I feel like a lot of people have dependency issues. 
I have independency issues where I'm, I, I feel like I'm too independent sometimes and that I'm sort of closed off from opening myself up to people too much. Does that make sense? I feel like it really doesn't. <laughs> I really wish this had alcohol in it, but my last like three videos have been me drinking, so I feel like that's probably not the best idea. <laughs> this is a lot to say. What I'm saying is, I spent the past year trying to mold myself into this person that I really am not, and in all honesty, don't want to be. So with all of that being said, I'm kind of taking a step back from everything and just really reevaluating what I want and who I am and who I want to become. I want to travel the world and do a bunch of cool shit with a bunch of cool people and just enjoy life. Life is too short to be anything but happy. So why put your time and effort into something that's making you anything less? Now am I making sense? Like even now, I'm still not 100% sure why I am the way that I am with certain things, but that's okay. Even though all of the weird changes that have happened in the past, like, I don't know, probably six months, and all the people that I've lost or walked away from, regardless of all of that, I'm in the best place I've been in a really long time. I'm surrounding myself with really, really good people who bring out the best in me, not people who bring out the best of what they want me to be. And it's kind of like recently since I've been surrounding myself with more and more positive people, I've noticed just how negative or unhealthy other people that I've kept around for a long time can be. In other words, I'm being selfish, and I think that that's really, really dope. Like I said, I've spent the past year or so trying to be somebody that everybody else wanted me to be. I was trying to change myself so I could fit my partner's wants or needs. I was trying to stick out certain relationships because it's what my family wanted for me. I was trying to censor myself and just kind of suffer in silence so that the other people in my life didn't find me as a burden. But the thing is, the people in your life, if they really care about you and you're genuinely a good person to them as well, they're not gonna find you a burden. I feel like that sentence kind of got jumbled up, but I, I hope you, I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. On a lighter note, I'm about to move. That's really, really exciting. I feel like the place I'm living at right now is great, and it has a lot of amazing memories. Um, I've been here for the past year and a half, but in those 16 months, there's been a lot of bad memories that have occurred. You know, I feel like everywhere I look, I'm reminded of a past lover, or a past friend, or just, a night where I got too drunk and ended up crying myself to sleep. And that's not to say that my new place isn't going to have all of those things eventually. I'm just saying that this new place is an opportunity to close out this chapter of my life and start a new one. As cheesy as it is. <laughs> my life is looking up and I'm in a lot better of a place than I was a couple months ago. I'm in a lot better of a place than I was one month ago. And I know that things aren't always going to be like that. There are new obstacles you're going to have to face around every single corner, but I feel like now I'm able to handle them a lot better because the only person I really have to worry about is myself. And my dog, of course, but you know. So yeah, that's kind of my self-reflection life update part of the video. Like I said, <clears throat> if I can say anything after I choke on my coffee. Like I said, I've never really done a day in my life type thing, and I don't even know if you would consider this that kind of vlog. It's, I don't, I don't know, whatever. I don't really care. I make what I enjoy, and right now, this is what I enjoy. So, if you don't like it, suck a dick. <laughs> but yeah, it is currently only 2 o'clock p.m. I don't really know what, I, what else I'm gonna do. I might drive around for a little bit. And then I believe my friend Zane is going to come over. Maybe we'll film a little bit when he gets here. Um, I don't really know what the plans are. We normally just play it by ear and end up having a good time anyways, so <laughs> thankful for that. But yeah, um, thank you for listening to me ramble. <laughs> Maybe me sharing the experiences I've been going through recently can help one of you with future experiences or current ones as well. I don't, I don't know. I really, I, I, I feel like I haven't done that much today, but also I feel like I have. I did laundry for the first time in about a week and a half. I've been just letting it pile up. Oh, 
By the way, I have avocados on my socks, so that's really exciting. Can you see them? Yeah, maybe this will be the end of the video, or maybe there will be some more parts after it. I don't know what my day consists of, and I don't know what my future holds right now, but... 328 AM. I really thought that there was going to be more to this video, but I ended up going to my friend Zane's house, and we just hung out. We talked about a really fun video idea, so um, stay tuned for that. Sorry that this video wasn't as interesting as it could have been. It is currently 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm just getting home because I accidentally passed out at Zane's place for a little bit. <laughs> I hope that this was kind of a cool video idea for you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you found it entertaining. And I hope what I said earlier on um, made an impact in somebody's life. So sorry again if it wasn't exactly the uh, exciting, funny type of video you were wanting, but I, I'm pretty proud of it. Anyways, I'm gonna go shower and knock the fuck out, but if you'd like to follow my journey, please click the subscribe button. And if you'd like to follow my other adventures, I'll put my social media links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Hug your mom, hug your pet, and until my next video, remember that the universe is on your side. Bye. I got a penny for your thoughts.